Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead. We are here to do another top 10 list for today. This one is going to be ranking the top 10 worst deaths ever done in the main Walking Dead show. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another view of today, this one's going to be doing another view for The Walking Dead, and in today's video we are back with another top 10 ranking list, this one is going to be my top 10 least favorite character deaths in The Walking Dead show, all the way up until the end, The Walking Dead Season 11 Episode 24, so continuing with the top 10 list... Very much enjoying doing these right now, and I know you guys have been enjoying these top 10 videos as well, too. This video was suggested by Presto, so thank you very much for Presto for suggesting this video. I definitely want to go ahead and do this one because The Walking Dead kills um, a lot of characters, right? <laughs> Especially during the Gimple era from seasons like 4 to 8. Um... There were a lot of character deaths, uh, and in particular, actually, you could even take it a step further with Glenn Mazzara in Season 3. Uh, they killed a lot of characters back then, so there's been a lot of character deaths throughout the Walking Dead show, and we're going to pick 10 here that, at least in my opinion, I think could have either been handled better or not the greatest or just simply not really that great, like kind of low-key bad, uh, bad death. So these are deaths that, at least in my opinion, I don't like. Uh, these are my top 10 least favorites, of course. Uh, keep in mind that this is my opinion on the series. Uh, if there's any that you guys um, want to add to your own list, make sure to write that down in the comment section below. But with all that to, out of the way, let's get into this top 10. So number 10, starting things off with my 10th least favorite death in The Walking Dead show, is going to go to Super Mario himself, Pope. So uh, I'm not going to put this one too high on the list, but I definitely want to put it in the list for sure because his death was so stupid. Stupid. I mean, so stupid. I mean, he literally stands there and he's like, The Lord speaks through me. You don't question the Lord. You don't question me. You know, light it up. You know, and then you got the friggin' the Reaper that's like starts lighting things up. And then you got Leah. <laughs> and, uh, and then it's like, oh, Daryl, actually, I, I killed Pope because I want these people to be my people now. Okay, so I'm not coming with you, you know. Frag off. Number nine. Number nine is going to be Oscar. Now, Oscar, this one right here, man, one of the biggest reasons I don't like this death, well, two reasons really, is the waste of potential, because I actually thought he could have been a really good character if they would have kept him around longer. And the other reason is because I can't see jack shit. Like, seriously, like... I can't even, when you watch the episode, it's so damn dark that I can't even tell that he gets shot until later on when Maggie puts a bullet in his eye. I'm like, oh wait, did Oscar just get, sh like, like, did he just get killed? Like, did he get shot? Like, you know, like, no, th that death was super dumb. And honestly, I feel like Oscar had way more to bring uh, to the story. And I feel like his death was very, very much a missed opportunity for a good character uh, going forward, at least in my opinion. Number eight is going to be Lance Hornsby. Now, Lance absolutely makes this list because I thought this was such a waste of potential. And I actually agree with Carol being the one to kill Lance. I actually agree with that. You know, I like that Carol was the one to take him out. I like that aspect of it. But they built up Lance so much in Season 11 uh, Part B. And in Part C, he literally sat in a cell the whole half season. And then when they finally started to use him, they give him a chance to walk away, which was really weird to me. But they give him a chance to walk away. And just for him to pick up a gun like a weasel and get shot in the throat before he can even do anything. It was such a lackluster death for, my, in my opinion, the best villain of the final season. And I just... What a disrespectful death, man. Like, Josh Hamilton brought so much to the character of Lance. Lance was a really, really awesome villain, in my opinion, at least. And I thought his death was disrespectful. I mean, literally. But he points the gun. <laughs> you know? It's like, the fuck? Like, what are you doing? Like, you know? I just don't understand that. So, I don't know. I found that death to be really bad. I think that was a really bad decision on the writer's part. Uh, number seven is going to be Laura. Now, I have not forgotten about this death. This death I found to be so dumb. I mean, literally, you've got Beta that goes in there and he goes into Alexandria. You've got Laura that points the spear to Beta's throat, uh, clearly knowing how capable he is, like this big freaking whisper. And she doesn't kill him because Gabriel told him to keep them alive, right? So she doesn't kill him, which in my opinion she should have, but whatever. And he then throws her across the room and... She gets knocked down, and evidently she died, right? And I don't know about you guys, 
I actually had to watch Talking Dead to realize that she died. I had no idea she was dead until I watched Talking Dead after because they made her death so weird. And it wasn't even that obvious, to be honest. So, I don't know, man. Laura's death, I thought was dumb. I also thought that her character could have gone on longer. And I think that's the biggest reason that I, I don't like it so much is because I actually liked her redemption arc and kind of switching over to our good guys. And then she just dies. And we've got like nobody left from the saviors now. It's just kind of a missed opportunity and I, I really did not like that character death at all. And I didn't even know it was a character death, you know, for a little while there. Um, number six is going to be Terra. Now, Terra, in my opinion, is a very missed opportunity and a really bad character death. Uh, for the, the big reason I put her on this list is because I think that the fake out was really dumb. How they've got Gabriel and Eugene, like, kind of like wondering where she is, right? Like, wondering, like, where she is. Like, we don't know who it is yet. And when you see Gabriel and Eugene talking, the first thought that comes in your head, obviously, is Rosita. And they don't even, like, build it up. It's like a fake out, and then they give you this, like, this Terra death. I just, it was dumb, man. It was so dumb. And I know a lot of people do not like Terra. I am actually a major defender of Terra. Probably one of the biggest Terra defenders anybody will ever find. Um, I don't understand the hate for that character. Uh, minus season eight, I think Terra is a fantastic character. And uh, I know a lot of people will be like, what? But seriously, I love Terra's character. I think she's really good. She brought a really nice kind of comedy aspect to the show, but she also had her serious moments, you know? And, um, I don't know, the Pike death for her was so dumb. Like, a lot of people complain about Henry or Enid or something like that. I'm actually the one, I'm like the opposite of most people. I'm actually fine with Henry's death and I'm fine with Enid's death, but I can't stand Tara's death. I think it's absolutely stupid. And to be honest, I think there were a lot more characters you could have killed at that point, and they didn't, you know? So whatever. Uh, I think her death was a really bad idea. Number five is going to be Beth. Now... Unlike Tara, this is actually the opposite. I am not a Beth fan at all, if you guys don't know me. If you know me, you know I don't like Beth. The reason why this makes my number five is because this was such a dumb idea. Literally, the entire hospital arc from episode four to episode eight was about what, you ask? Getting Beth back. And then at the end of the hospital arc, they kill Beth. I mean... For God's sakes, you may as well have just killed her during the Terminus arc, you know? Like, or killed her back at the prison. Like, friggin', like, why do we have to spend so much time with Beth in this hospital just for her not to get out, you know? And the death is so dumb. I mean, you get her, she stabs Dawn with scissors. Like, why? Because you got a little crush on Noah? Like, no, get your shit and get out of there. Like, you know, you can work on a plan to try to get him out at another time. Why are you going to stand in this this very narrow hallway over here and freaking stab him where there's nowhere to go. You know, I mean, she knew it would start shit and she did it anyway. So dumb, such a dumb death. And you know, Dawn and she didn't mean to do it and all that kind of stuff. Look, I get it's for shock value, but not only did I not like Beth, I found this death to be stupid. Number four is actually the following death. Number four is Tyrese. Um, Oh my god. I mean, this death, and the reason why I don't like it so much, two reasons. Uh, I think it's really dumb that they kill a character immediately the next episode after Beth. I think that was a really bad idea. And my other reasoning for it is because in Season 4, Episode 3, right, when you had Daryl and the rest of them, they were out there on the road, they were doing, you know, the run for the medicine or whatever, we saw Tyrese take on hundreds of walkers, right? Like, at least a good few dozen were surrounding him from each side, right? And all of a sudden now, he gets bit by one little zombie. I, you know, I find that to be so dumb. And the episode kind of got frustrating after a while too. I mean, I enjoy the governor's return, but there were a lot of weird things in that episode. So, I don't know. Tyrese's death I found to be really bad, to be honest. I think it came way too soon after Beth's death as well too. And it just... It wasn't very, uh, very enjoyable, if you ask me at least. Uh, number three is going to be Sasha. Now, I do enjoy the flashbacks with Abraham during her death. Don't get me wrong. That's probably the only good aspect of this. But the reason I don't like Sasha's death is because literally the whole thing is about her taking a pill and you keep cutting inside of this coffin or whatever and you're wondering like what's going on with her. She wants to kill herself at one moment but then takes a pill at another moment. And it's like... I think Sasha's plan was so stupid, if you ask me, because she kills herself inside of this thing, 
not knowing what person is going to open that door. You know, <laughs> like for all Sasha knew, Negan would literally like walk inside of Alexandria, open that up in front of Rick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, seriously, I don't understand what the frick her idea was there. Like, I know her plan was maybe to kill Negan when they opened the door, but what if that was Rick? You know, what if Negan opened up that door or what if Negan said to Rick, like, you know, you open the door, right? So, you know, you, you want to see Sasha Rick? Open the damn door, right? So Rick opens the door. Boom, Rick's dead. You know, I mean, probably not. But just saying, that is a really dumb idea. And her death, they're lucky they had Abraham flashbacks because it was taking up half the episode. And it's actually a big reason why 7, um, 16 is not a 10 out of 10. Because I literally love everything else in that episode, but that was a dumb, dumb scene. So number two is going to be Andrea's death. Now, oh my god, man, I don't know what the frig they did to TV Andrea to give her something like this. The whole episode is her sitting in a room tied to a fucking chair with a guy that's dying, right? So, in my mind, if I was tied to a chair and a guy was sitting there dying anyway, I'd be like, and I know this is about to sound cold, but I'd be like, okay, dude, well, you're dying anyway, so you can keep rambling on in your final moments. I'm going to try to get my ass out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Andrea, she's just like, you're dying. You know, hands cuffed, right? You're dying. Hmm. Man, I wanted to save the governor, man. I mean, so instead of thinking, okay, so I need to figure a way to get out of here, she's like, I wanted to save the governor. Hmm, I made a mistake. Ugh. Really? I mean, really? Seriously? And then as soon as Milton turns into a walker and starts walking towards her, now she's like, oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, shit. You know? Like, really? I mean, seriously? Comic Andrea versus TV Andrea is so much different. I mean, seriously. Comic Andrea would be like, oh, Milton, you're dead? Then fuck you. I'm getting out of here, you know? TV Andrea? Hmm. I wanted to save the governor. Oh, man. You know, it's like, what the fuck, man? Seriously, such a dumb death. And what a waste of potential, might I add. Like, TV Andrea, what a fail. Her comic counterpart was so incredible. And her TV counterpart was absolutely awful. I cannot stand what they did with her in the TV show. And number one is going to be a very obvious one, but we all, I'm sure, probably share a very similar opinion. Number one is going to be Carl. Um, easily the worst death The Walking Dead ever did. And for the simple reason that, you know, Carl, he was the legacy. He was the legacy of this show. And, you know, it's not, it's one thing that they killed him, right? But it's the way they did it. Having him get bit, saving Sadiq, who also dies two seasons later anyway. I really don't know why they did this. And, well, actually, I know why they did this. Gimple said it's because then Rick has a reason to save Negan. Rick never had a, a logical reason to save Negan in the comics, but they did it anyway. So I don't understand why they had to kill off Carl. I really don't. And to be honest with you, I really think that his death, you know, it affected season eight and it affected a lot of things. But I know Andrew Lincoln, one of the big reasons he left this show is because of what they did to Carl. And in addition, when Andrew Lincoln left the show and we brought Judith in, yeah, Judith is really good. But I'm not going to lie, man. You really could have used Carl when Rick left the show. You really, really could have. And, you know, unfortunately, they just didn't do that. They never did it. And um, they killed him off instead. Really, really bad decision, at least in my opinion. And not one that I'll ever support, to be honest. So there's my list. Let me know in the comment section below. What are your top 10 least favorite deaths of The Walking Dead show? Do you maybe want me to do a positive version of this one as well, too, where we do a uh, top 10 uh, favorite deaths of The Walking Dead? Because there are some really amazing deaths as well, too. So maybe we'll do that as well. But uh, anyway, let me know in the comment section below. How do you guys feel about all these character deaths? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys to get more Walking Dead videos like this, and I'll see you guys really soon for more Walking Dead videos. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Heard stories, walkers that can climb walls and open doors. I was never sure if they were just stories.